Welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, today, not working on uh, the 70 truck, working on the 70 Camaro. Um, uh, still no dry shaft for this thing, so I can't finish up the uh, Tremec 5 speed video. Um, I was supposed to have the whole front end, the whole front clip here uh, to paint. Can't do that because I gotta finish up the, the Tremec install before I can take the front end apart. So the only part that I can take off the car right now is the hood. So I guess I'm going to paint the hood here. I've actually got it in the uh, a primer sealer right now, getting ready to spray the, the color on it. I've already painted the underside. I don't remember if I did a video on that or not, but it's just um, a satin black under the hood, just like it would have come from the factory. Um, so I've got that uh, taped off. You can see it's all masked off under there. So I guess this is going to be a color reveal on uh, the Camaro. We were going to go with a um, a copper. It was going to be a satin uh, copper uh, metallic or pearl or whatever it was. Um, we've changed. So I guess I'll, I'll show you what we what we what we're going with. Okay, so there is the color. Um, it is a red. It is actually uh, cranberry red, 1970 cranberry red. This is the color the car was actually born with. So we're taking it back to uh, the original color. It's on the identification tag. So I think that's the right thing to do with this car. Um, I didn't want to devalue it by 
putting some odd color on it. Um, I don't know. It, you, we're not planning on selling it, but I just felt like if we uh, did a weird color, that uh, you know the car would be devalued. Um, I mean, it's a '70 Camaro. It's a real SS. Um, yeah, I just, I just didn't want to uh, do something stupid and mess the car up. I think it would have looked awesome at that uh, copper, the satin copper. But this is probably the right choice. I think Dad likes it too, so we're gonna go with it. So I'm gonna uh, clear this now. I don't record the clear because I don't want clear coat all over my camera. Um, and I like to really concentrate when I'm putting the clear on because um, you know it's you want to put that on flat. If you if you put it on too dry, it's really orange peely. I don't plan on doing any buffing with this unless something gets scratched or whatever or chipped or, or something, but I don't plan on, on wet sanding and buffing this. I would prefer it to look like 1970. I'm not sure, it's probably going to be a little shinier with the clear coat, but I, I want it to look like, um, you know, it was new in 1970. I don't want to wet sand and buff this thing to a mirror-like deal. So. Um, I'm going to try to do my best to just get this good enough so um, we don't have to wet sand and buff it. But anyway, enough talking. I got to get to doing this. So I'll come back when it's all nice and shiny. So there it is. All cleared up. And actually, actually really happy with the way it come out. Uh, there is uh, trash in the paint. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you it's, it's absolutely perfect because it's, it's not. Um, you can't paint um, in an old shop like this uh, with dust everywhere and not get uh, debris in there. It just, you just can't do it. You really need a, a paint booth but I, it's as good as it can be done, um, you know, without a paint booth. Uh, like I said, real happy uh, with the way it turned out, except for uh, the camera's probably not going to pick it up. But um, yeah, because it's like shiny. Once you hit that red, it doesn't. But there's a there's a mosquito in the paint right there, and then there's another bug over there, and they really really got me upset after I cleared it and they they fell in there but it is what it is and like I said without a, a paint booth that you can seal up and like totally rinse down um, yeah it's, it's that's just the way it is not building a, a perfect show car anyway so I'm gonna have to get my uh, wet sander out let this uh, uh, cure up for a little while. I'll get my wet sander out and I'll have to, I'll have to wet sand it. Probably go after uh, some of the, the worst uh, debris in the hood. And then um, do a little buff job. I'm not going to go after it like, um, you know, like, uh, like a show car and try to get the paint completely flat because that's not what this car is it's not what it's going to be but anyway guys the hood's done wish you could have done the rest of the front clip but eventually we'll get there so I guess guys that's going to do it for this one hopefully uh, you enjoyed the video I uh, will see you Thank you.